We're going to talk about the future of cryptocurrency, what you may not be thinking, and also some future predictions from some big names. Hi everyone, if you're new to this channel, make sure you have subscribed, hit the bell button, leave a like now, let's get into it. Listen to this. This whole idea that anything that is a utility trades at the cost of electricity, I just think is false. I think it's false because of Metcalfe's law adoption effects. Um, and we've seen that time and time again. So if you're thinking adoption, if you're thinking the future, you may be on the right lines. Now, I'm gonna start this video with one point and one point only. Not everyone's an investor. That's important to know. Why is it important to know, you're probably wondering. Well, even though I sell courses and I promote and I love to educate people, some people come in and some people go very, very quickly because they can't quite grasp it. This happens in the stock market all the time. This happens in foreign exchange as well. This happens in property investing. It happens in investing in gold. People are not cut out for it. However, this is my point. My point is we may be getting onto a global scale of cryptocurrency in the next 10, 15, 20 years potentially where investors don't really matter and the investors will make money like the dot-com boom. But people will use the internet. People will use the products that are available on the internet, which do, do make the prices of the shares go up. You see my point here? It's called network effect. And listen to this next clip here. If I look at the equity space or the fixed income space or the credit space globally, they're all about 300 to 500 trillion. When you start considering the network effect, it's very, very important because we are at a point in cryptocurrency where yes, the prices are pretty high, they're pretty good. We're currently at 1.91 trillion right now. And the fundamentals are clear. We don't have adoption yet. We don't have a use case yet. A lot of products and protocols are not even live yet on a global economic scale. That's my point. So if you think about it in the long term and longevity of being an investor, you've got to stick around. You've got to buy, you know, the product, the service, the, the element that's going to make things better in the long term, a disruptor, right? Buy it low, look to take profit or sit on it or do whatever the hell you want with it, right? Simple. Those people who are now rich and filthy rich in the past, in the 70s, in the 80s, in the 90s, did that with the world of technology. You know, I don't have to go too far to kind of show you the likes of Microsoft, Apple, for example here right so we may be coming onto that kind of age now where global adoptions changing now the world of like basically money is worth about 400 500 trillion when you look into the fact of credit when you look into the fact of even the world debt for example as well real estate gold other commodity oh, it's ridiculous right we've got at, at, at the moment, 11,212 cryptocurrencies, which are recognized at the moment. That value over, overall is 1.9 trillion only. That works out at roughly around 33 million per coin, right? Scary, right? You've got NFTs, you've got DeFi, you've got community tokens, you've got utility protocols, interoperability multi-chain, you've got um, decentralized applications, you've got payment protocol, you've got the freaking lot, right? There's more as well in terms of privacy and other bits and bobs, right? Realistically speaking, if we are going to go on the journey that we're going on, and this is not to make you FOMO, you got to think long term. So if this is truly as disruptive as we think it is, which is the internet of value, then it's going to be worth something like that, if not more. So the whole space looks like it can go to up 200x from here. What if Ethereum or Cardano, or Polkadot, etc., have enabling factors which will enable global payments around the globe. Well, that could be possible. I imagine the likes of Visa using a cryptocurrency to enable. Imagine the banking world enabling a certain cryptocurrency that could enable things to happen faster and better and more efficient. What about the likes of the CFI world into DeFi world? You know, we know coins that can do that. They're not even started yet. People know what cryptocurrency is. People understand what cryptocurrency is. My point is this. 
They don't have to invest in it to understand it to be a part of it. They might use it without even freaking knowing about it. Because you got people that rent cars, you got people that rent houses, you got people that would take part and put their money with the banks and they do it for them, but they're doing a certain process of investing without people even getting their hands dirty. There's payment protocols that use certain elements that create a utility effect in cryptocurrency. When that grows and the adoption grows, it's going to get very, very interesting over time anyways, in my opinion. So listen to this clip as well about what you should be looking at. What seems to be the largest market cap that had the most number of smart people interested in it, that wasn't based on just kind of the hype cycle, but had some really interesting people involved whether it was investors in, you know, if you look at Polkadot, I mean, there's serious people behind Polkadot. So you have to take it seriously. Whether it works or not, who knows? Um, but you, you can take it seriously. So like the Polkadot has been mentioned, but in my opinion, this is very, very similar to my sort of investment style anyways. Not to follow the hype. Sorry, even though Dogecoin has a place in cryptocurrency and it has a right to be here, is it going to change the world? Probably not, no. Realistically, you got to think of the long term. How bigger, how much better is the likes of Polkadot, the likes of Ethereum, the likes of Cardano, and other elements that will enable more and more things to build upon them, which will grow their value. So, I always use the term, buy the hay bale, not look for the needle in the haystack. So if you've found a coin that enables others to build on it, developers, other coins, other elements that can be used upon it to create a network effect, it's going to grow over time. And that growth is going to create price action. That's going to create a stable investment longer term. So when you look down and you start looking at the likes of Solana, for example, even the, the use of oracles within Chainlink, you can look at the likes of Matic. You can look at the likes of VeChain as an example, even Feta as a, as a great example in terms of network effect of people using it. Feta is a great example of people not even maybe realizing that that is a cryptocurrency enabled platform, but they may just use their streaming platform without any kind of information about cryptocurrency is needed. You know, imagine if the likes of YouTube adopted a token to be used as a payment mechanism or a way of revenue to come in and out via the advert platform. That's the kind of situation that we may well be presented in the long term. Even the likes of Luna, as an example, Aave for the likes of the obvious, DeFi. You know, scrolling down, you've obviously got the likes of Graph, you've got the likes of Zilliqa, you've got Avalanche, you've obviously even got the likes of Tesla, or Algorand. They're all enablers for some sort of weird and wonderful reason within their little niche that could get people to grow on them, build, adopt and use them. Got a whole world out there, we've got planet Earth, right? It's getting used. Whether you are a little bit tubby, and you want to do a home workout, well, you're not going to get much out of it because you're kind of restricted. But if you go and walk around the world for a bit, you may well burn more calories. Funny thing that, it's a weird kind of situation when I'm talking about it. But realistically, the same thing. We've got a whole world out there that fully, physically, in my opinion, have not fully adopted cryptocurrency yet. And until that happens, things will get very, very interesting. So this is not to get you massively excited, but it's just to be realistic. I am sick of people coming into this space, trying to make loads of money within two weeks and then f forgetting what, what, what the, the overall goal is here. Longevity is a big thing. I've been an investor for freaking hell a long time now, when you think about it, six years nearly. It's crazy when you think about it. In that time, I've learned so much. In that time, the network effect of cryptocurrency is getting bigger, better, faster, stronger, all that kind of good stuff, right? Everything's improving, even with re regulation ball aches, right? However, however, it doesn't happen overnight. It really doesn't. And if you stick to it and you learn the basic principles of buying the right coins, of buying at the support levels, investing because you want to invest and be a part of it and share your love for the world of the space, things will just get better, easier. There's too many people that come in for like two seconds, get wrecked and then disappear and don't come back. This happened in the stock market. It happens in the likes of gold and the foreign exchange. It happens all the time. People are sold a dream when realistically, just be a part of it and things may happen anyways. Investing is about longevity. It's about 
strategic plan. It's about taking profit and it's about having a bit of a plan as well. Realistically, you've got to have a plan. Too many people come in because the mate around the corner goes, oh, I've just bought this. It's doing really well. I'm, I'm up loads. They don't quite understand what they're doing. And then they're telling people who they don't understand what they're doing anyways to do the same thing that they don't understand for late anyways. It doesn't make any sense, does it? So think long term. Network effects are so important for the adoption scale of cryptocurrency and any other global asset. Look at a stock. Look at how they grow over time with revenue and usage. It's the same with this. The amount of cryptocurrencies that are ready to burst because they're going to get adopted at some point in the future and the network effect will come very, very apparent with a flood of people is going to change the whole perspective of this industry massively. Things will go up a lot and you won't even realize and it'll just happen and happen and happen we will have bull and bear cycles obviously but i always believe that we are a market sentiment cycle anyways because it's very very early when people are here it'll go up people take profit they'll vanish it will get back up again it will take profit it'll vanish, and then it'll stable out eventually over time so how long do you want to stay in this market for if you're looking to invest for the next coming years you may well want to stick around because things are getting a bit interesting. 